Welcome to B&B RV here in Denver, Colorado. We're at 8101 East 40th Avenue. Our phone number is 303-322-6013. Today we're going to walk around the 29M Class A Wind Sport. Uh, this is a rental unit for us. We're just going to walk you around and show you the outside and then we'll do the inside. These are just uh, access to hydraulics and such, and then you've got some storage in here. Your water's all here, so you're going to bring your uh, sewer hose through here. It's going to hook up here, go down through the hole, and go into the drain in the ground. And when you get ready to dump, you want to dump your black tank first. That's your toilet, let it drain out, then close it, and then drain out your gray tank, which is your sinks and shower. So that soapy water will rinse out your hose just a little bit. There's an optional sandy flush there, which is to spray out the inside of that black tank. So if you decide that you'd like to rinse that out when you're dumping this, just do that while you still have the valve open, and that'll rinse out um, any water there. And there should be a hose at the dump station to do that. Don't use the water hose included. You don't want to use your water hose near any of the sanitary dump. When you get all done with that, you're just going to put your hose away and put this cap back on and close this back up. A couple of connections here. One is for cable TV. You'll have a cable in here, so if you have cable at the campground, you can use that. Then this is where you're going to plug in your electric cord. This unit has two air conditioners, which means to run both air conditioners, you'll use a 50 amp service at the campground. Now you can still use a 30 amp service. We'll have an adapter plugged in. You just won't be able to use both air conditioners if you end up at a 30 amp outlet. And so your, your cord will come out of this compartment. This end is what plugs right here into the RV, and this end is plugging into the campground for 50 amp. There'll be an adapter to adapt that down to 30 amp if you do need to stay in a site with 30 amp. And again, that, everything else will work, just not both air conditioners at the same time. Fuel tank, regular fuel, nothing special with the fuel access to the generator, but that all runs from inside. On the back here, we have a ladder, but this is just for our purposes. You could use it in emergency only. Uh, very slippery on the roof if it's wet, so be very careful of that. This is just another access to the propane here. Another storage compartment in this particular one. Right now we've got the hose, the cable, and we include some gloves for you to use while you're dumping. That's just a no access little panel there. And then this one is another storage here by the door. So on the other side where the dump is, is where you can connect your hose to have pressurized water. If you're refilling your tank, you're gonna do that right here. So to refill your onboard tank, you fill this right here. Otherwise, all your water's on that side except this filling the tank. Let's go check out the inside. Right inside the door to your right as you come up the stairs, you'll see this main power with the red light. That's your house batteries, and that must remain on at all times. If you see that light off, somebody's clicked that off. Make sure you put that back on. That should be on your entire trip. Step, that's a switch so that that step will either come in and out every time you open the door or it will stay out and only come in when you turn on the switch, which is what I would recommend. You also have a panel here uh, that has a button on the top and bottom of each one. These are all just electronic now. So this is your step well light, so a light right here getting in. Your main living room lights cargo lights, which are your lights in all of your um, cargo or storage compartments on the outside. Your awning light, which is a light under, underneath the uh, awning over the side. This extend is for your awning, so 
you can extend it or retract it. So you just push the button to extend the awning out, push the button to retract it back. Do not leave that awning out and leave the motorhome. If a gust of wind comes up, it will tear it right off. This is your light master, so you can turn on all the lights or off all the lights. So on master and off master. And we'll go check out the uh, cockpit here. Up here in the driver's seat, the cockpit should be mostly familiar. One thing that'll be a little different is this has leveling jacks. So if you end up parking in a space that is not level and you want to level it out, then you can use the jacks. Just have the key on, put the emergency brake on, and then you'll just turn this button on. And when this lights up, then you're just going to hit the auto and it will automatically level for you. And then when you're done, just turn that off, turn the key off. When you get ready to leave, you sort of do it in reverse. You just turn this on and this on and then hit retract all jacks until it says this jacks light, jacks down a light will be on. Make sure that goes off and you'll, all the jacks will be up. Then you're ready to put it in gear and travel. This has heated mirrors and remote mirrors to adjust your mirrors for you. Lights are here. There's an emergency start button here in this one. If for some reason you killed the starting battery, you could jump it to your house batteries and that would allow it to uh, start from the house batteries. Uh, next to never need it, but it's nice to know that it's there. There's a shade up in front, so this sunshade will um, come down and block your windshield off at night. If you have the unit on and you're driving, that's regulated so that it can only come down a certain distance so that it can't come down to block your vision while you're driving. You can start the generator from here. Uh, there's another button that you'll see to start the generator, so you can start it from either position. Then you have a fan up above for the driver and a fan for the passenger. Those initially were intended to be defroster fans, but they actually work very well for blowing air back on hot days. Um, you've got the, the radios all built in, backup camera. When you put it in reverse, that's going to come on. It, <coughs> excuse me. If you're driving in the mountains or real hilly areas, and all these RVs are going to slow down as you're going up the hill in about 40 to 45 miles an hour. It's going to shift down. When it does shift down, just push this button here at the end and you'll see the light come on on the dash that just says tow haul. And just leave that on as you go up the hill and especially as you come back down. That will typically be enough to keep you from having to brake. But if you're still going faster than you want to go coming back down, just tap your brakes twice and it'll shift down for you so that you can uh, keep from coming down the hill faster than you want and you're trying to avoid to use your brakes coming down the hill. You don't want to have to brake the whole way down the hill. You also just have some outlets up here for, for charging, 12 volt outlets, etc. And a little work station, computer station for the passenger there. And we'll move on to the back or further back here. We'll show you the bed over top has two little pins on the side that just pin in to hold this in place. Make sure that you take these pins out before we start dropping this bed down. So there's a pin on each side. Just make sure those are out. This bed's going to come down over top of these seats. So typically you'll want to tip these. Once we slide this slide out, you're going to tip these seats back out of the way so that this can come down. But both of these seats also swivel around to become part of the living area. And I think uh, before we show you more of the uh, middle of part of this, we'll go to the control panel to show you how to slide the slide out of the way so it's easier to show you how to create these other beds. So let's move back to the control panel here. So this Model 29M now comes with the all-electronic control panel. This is your home screen, which is right there at the top with the little home button. Your master for your lights for on and off with all of your lights is right here to turn them on all, all on or all off. This is all of your levels. So now you see fresh, 
That's all your fresh water. Gray would be your gray tank, which is your sinks and showers. Black tank is for your toilet. And LP is your propane. Right now, this is a new unit that's just come in. These are all zero. When you come to check out, the fresh water will be full and your propane will be full. The other two tanks will be empty. If you need to turn the water pump on, you simply push the button. If you want to turn your water heater on, we have water heater for gas, which would be heated by propane, water heater electric. So if you have electricity, use electric. If you don't, then you can use the gas. We turn it, push it once to on and once to off. Tank heat are heaters for your holding tanks. So that's wintertime usage um, when it's below freezing to try to keep those tanks from from freezing and you'll need to be plugged into electricity to utilize that because it will run down your batteries a little too quickly. Uh, we just have temperature in here it says what the front and the rear temperature is and um, the generator you can start or stop here as well as another location but you're just going to hold down this start button until that generator starts and then when you go to close it you're just going to hit stop. The second button is just a lot of the electrical components in here with monitoring that you won't need to use. Um, it just shows all of the voltage and etc. This third one, the light. There you can turn on and off all the different lights. Your cargo light is your outside storage, your step well by the entry, your front, which is your main lights up here in the front, your bathroom light, your bedroom light, your vanity light, and your awning light. So you'll see some of these are on right now. Uh, just press it to turn it on, press it to turn it off. I'll show you there are a few lights in here that run separate from this system that just have little push buttons. They're the ones underneath the cabinetry. This is where you're going to turn uh, your air conditioner or your furnace on. Now this has two air conditioners, so that's why you see cool. So you got zone one, which is up here in the front, zone two, which is the bedroom. So you have one furnace, to heat the entire unit, but you have an air conditioner for front, an air conditioner for back. So uh, you just push that to turn it to on or to off, or to furnace or to cool, and uh, just set the temperature to what you want. This one is for your slides. So the slide says confirm that your level or that you have your jacks down and you're ready for operation, say confirm. So you'll see on this one there's an extension and a retract for the slide and an extension and a retract for the awning. You also have the up and down for the bed, which is the bunk over the cab. So if you hit down, that over the cab bed's just going to automatically come down, hit up, and that will raise it back up to the ceiling. Same thing is true for the slide out room. Hit extend. And we'll slide it out. You're just gonna hold this down until it gets all the way out. You wanna have that slide either all the way in or all the way out, halfway in between and it doesn't seal as well. Just hold this down till we get it all the way out so we can show you how nice and large this unit is. This has a full wall slide, so on the driver's side of the unit, nearly that entire wall is sliding out right now. Gets all the way out, just let go. If you want to extend your awning, again, you have the button by the door, but you can also extend it or retract it right here. Don't leave that awning out if you're not at the RV. This one is all of your settings which you typically aren't going to need on here. It's all set for you at Fahrenheit, etc. And then you can just get back to the home button to, to um, run the control so We have panel. a full bathroom here in the 29M as well. The toilet just has a pedal to press to flush. The shower has an on and off up on the handle. And then you have a panel in here as well. So you have your bathroom ceiling lights. So to turn the lights on in the bathroom, or you can turn the lights on in the living room from in here as well. You can turn on your fan, and if you're in here and the water pump is off, you can turn the water pump in here so that you can use the shower, toilet, or sink. 
in that uh, everything else is just, if you're going to use onboard water, you want the water pump. If you're hooked up at a campground, then you won't need that. Let's move on to the bedroom. Model 29M, we have four sleeping surfaces. We've got the bed that'll come down by just pressing it on the panel like we showed, the sofa that's gonna fold to a bed, the dinette that's gonna fold to a bed, and the large bed back in the bedroom that we do upgrade the mattresses on. So with this one, we're just gonna pull these two cushions off. Then what you'll do is you'll raise this up and it flips open. And there's legs underneath here. So you just fold these legs down, fold that down, and then fold this down over the middle. You can put the two large cushions back if you want those against the wall. Just reverse it in the morning. You're gonna lift this back up. You'll lift this up, it bends in the middle here. Fold the legs in, put the sofa down, Put your cushions back on, and you're ready for another day. The dinette we upgraded was called the Dream Dinette, so you have no leg in the way underneath, and it slides up and down on the wall on a uh, hydraulic arm, which makes it a lot smoother. So you're just going to take this lock, release it, and then it's going to come all the way down to sit on these. You're just going to push this down and use all four cushions for a bed. In the morning, you're just gonna lift it up and then you're gonna latch it back and you're ready for a day. You've got the TV up on the wall. You're gonna have a DVD player up here for that. You'll have remotes in here for all of that. In the kitchen, the microwave is gonna be just like you have at home. The stove, is a propane stove so you just flip this up out of the way and you have the three burners so what you do with that is you're going to just turn this to light and then just turn this spark and your burners will light if you're going to use the oven however it doesn't light with the sparker so you're going to have to turn it over to pilot while you have it on pilot hold it in while you're holding it in, you're gonna reach back about three quarters of the way. There's a little finger in there. There's a thermocouple. And you're gonna hold this and light it with a lighter or a match. It takes quite a long time for these to light. So don't be concerned that it's not working or that it's gonna poof and get you. It does a very small flame for the uh, pilot light. Once that is lit, you hold it another 30 seconds or so, and then you can just turn it up to the temperature that you want to cook at. Just turn, simply turn that back to off, to turn it off. And that's as simple as that in the kitchen. The refrigerator is just, um, runs on gas or electric, and it has a mode button, it'll have an on button, so you're just gonna leave that on, and when you switch, when you're driving, it's going to run on propane because all your propane's built in underneath the unit. When you're at a campsite, or you when you plug into electricity or start the generator, then this is going to switch to electric automatically for you. Bedroom, we have another TV. Again, I mentioned there's lights. These lights that are underneath of any of the cabinetry are just a push button light. Um, and in this 29M model, these have a king bed, so you have a nice large king bed again. In the back, there's gonna be a couple of outlets. We've included a 12 volt outlet back here. And with that, you can get the small inverter and run one of your uh, machines at night. So if you need to have a sleep machine to run air, that will run off of the, um, the inverter and we can help. If you have questions with that, let us know and uh, that makes it very nice. You don't have to have electricity. You don't have to have the generator on or be plugged in the campground to use that. One last thing on this is if you were in the back and for some reason you can't get out the front, this is an emergency exit. This will lift up and swing open so that you can't escape. This is the 29M Windsport, a B&B RV, and we hope you have a great vacation.